Happy Monday, everybody, and thanks for tuning in to Toys, the Universe, and Everything. This week we're playing Crack for the Atari 7800. So, is Crack the most fun you can have playing a light gun shooter with a joystick? How much fun can you have playing a light gun shooter with a joystick? Did Atari succeed in its plans to corner the ornithologist themed shooter market? Was Atari genuinely trying to troll the remaining fans by releasing this and Barnyard Blaster in the same year? Well, like, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and let's see if Cracked is the game that will make my 7800 explode from shame. Crack was released in 1988 by Atari because why not? Originally, Cracked was designed by Robert Craig for play on Atari computers and was ported to the 7800 in the same year. In Cracked, you are an ornithologist, an ornithologist, who must protect a rare South American hornbill nest and the eggs within from local predators. You will take aim against bluebirds, owls, snakes, Dunglings, rats, dragonflies, squids, anchovies, bubbles, ghosts, skeletons, bats, aliens, meteors, and spaceships. With your trusty slingshot. Because we're Atari and to hell with it. The game ends when you run out of eggs to protect, then you can advance to protecting your next objective, your pride as a game collector. I'd like to spend a second talking about this box. What is this? Is that tree growing out of the fence? Why do the birds have Mickey Mouse ears? Is the angry mouse supposed to represent the kid who got this for a birthday present? That's pretty meta. Is that egg clip art? Is the lettering clip art? Is all of this clip art? Did Atari fire their only staff artist before releasing this game? Whatever. Visually, Cracked is not the worst game on the system. Some of the baddies are, they look okay, though they are kind of a mixed bag. Many of the pests in the game, like the anchovy and the bubble, look lazy and forgettable. Like Barnyard Blaster, the baddies are also way too small for the most part, which make targeting even a bigger chore than it already is. The animation isn't going to win you over, as most characters use only two frames, and some barely look as though they use that much. Still, some of the graphics in the game are pretty decent, especially the Rooster Ranch bonus levels and goofier stages like the Underwater Stage and the Moon Egg Assault, even though I thought it was a Lord of the Rings level at first. The sound is a solid 7800 meh. The only memorable jingle within is Tommy Walker's 1946 Charge Fanfare, which gets played over and over in Chopin's Funeral March when you lose the game. Though that gets weirdly interrupted by a random chime. I'm sure Atari's crack legal team told them they could use those bits of music without paying royalties. Other than the borrowed tunes, the game is just Atari Tia Chip blaster farts that make a Nelsonic Pac-Man watch sound like the symphony orchestra in comparison. Okay, that was an exaggeration. The gameplay, however, is hard to exaggerate. It is bad. Really bad. So bad. I'm pondering a theory that Bobcat Goldthwait's Police Academy character, Mr. Zed's origin story, somehow involves this game and being forced to play it too long. The truth is, at least in the 7800 version of this game, you have the wrong tools for the job. You'd think this is the part where I tell you how it's a gun game and you need a light gun, but no. This is not, nor was it ever, a light gun game. It is a mouse game. The original game was designed to be played on a computer with a mouse. Robert Craig even stated that in an interview. It's kind of like playing the arcade Star Wars game on a console. You can't really well. The arcade game had special flight stick that without spending hundreds of dollars, you can't replicate at home. Cracked was a mouse game on a console that didn't have a mouse. Try playing Mario Paint with a D-pad. It would suck. Try web surfing on a Dreamcast with a standard controller instead of a mouse and a keyboard. It would suck. Try playing Cracked on Atari 7800, and it will suck. The Rooster bonus round is absolutely not worth the points to even try. You'll likely not even give me points as shooting a rat will get you on any other level. The D-pad just isn't the right tool for this. Try playing a Game Boy by licking the screen instead of using the D-pad, and you'll see what playing this game is like. 
it should have been okay. At its core, it's just a bird-themed missile command with the Defender Catch mechanic thrown in. It should have been a lot of fun. How do you screw up missile command? Oh, yep, that'll do it. The game would have been okay. Not great, never great, but okay if, if it had a mouse or supported the Atari trackball controller. You remember that thing? Like so many late era Atari games, I can't tell if it comes to being cheap or if Atari seriously hated their customers. In my mind, I see the people in charge at Atari at this point like the bad guy from Wayne's World explaining Miss Pac-Man to Wayne and Garth. Watch it, kids. It's a cinema classic. But is Cracked a gaming classic? Well, if you've heard anything I just said and you're still on the fence, I have no, no way left to stop you. The computer version was just okay, but without a mouse, it is absolutely terrible on the Atari 7800. Maybe you need an ornithologist-themed shooter on your Atari 7800. Maybe Atari was tapping into a huge demographic and were simply ahead of their time. Maybe this game will be rediscovered and cherished as a hidden gem like Mighty Final Fight or Wild Guns. Yeah, right. And monkeys might fly out of my butt. Wayne's World reference. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and no matter what your questions are about toys, the universe, and everything, remember, the answer is always to have fun. And if you know anyone considering a business venture by entering the game publisher space by creating an ornithologist-themed shooter that plays with a joystick, remember, friends don't let friends do drugs. Thank you, everybody, for watching this video. I really do appreciate you spending time with me. If you want to help me do more like this, please like and subscribe and share. And let me know in the comments what kind of videos you're interested in. Or if you maybe bought this game when it was new. Lord help you. Until next time, everybody.